Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Liftoff, which is an FPV simulator, and we're gonna be taking a look at the new update where you can now fly the DJI FPV drone. This update was released a week, maybe two weeks ago. A lot of you who use the Liftoff FPV simulator are probably already aware of this update, but if you're new, if you're gonna be just picking up an FPV drone and you wanna get some uh, practice, this is a good alternative to the one that DJI makes. I myself am not a big fan of the DJI one. I find it makes me a little bit nauseous, especially when used with the goggles. Flying the drone doesn't make me nauseous but when I'm using the simulator in the goggles I get very uh, very ill very quick. The other nice thing is if you're an Android user then of course you can't use the simulator or you used to be able to not to. I don't know if that's been updated or not. Correct me if I'm wrong. But this is a good way for you to get out and uh, practice before you go into manual mode. Now there's many different controllers that are compatible including the one that comes with the DJI FPV drone. You just have to plug it in by USB-C and it will recognize it. You might have to go in and calibrate it the first time. I think with mine wasn't uh, recognizing it properly so within the settings of the game you can go in and calibrate the controller and uh, it should work just fine. So we're just going to do a quick flight check out the, uh, the new update. Now if you have free flight or you don't have it and you have to install it I do believe there is a fee for it. I can't remember what it is. I bought this several years ago, but the DJI FPV component is a free update. You will have to install that afterwards. So all you have to do then is connect your controller to the computer and then power it on like normal. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll launch the game. You can see on the main page, we already got a nice graphic of the DJI FPV drone. And there's all different things you can do. You can do a quick play, you can do race, freestyle. I like to go into free flight myself. From here, they have all different fields and different uh, courses you can choose from. The one I use quite a bit is called the green. And uh, it's just a nice little course, lots of trees and that you can fly around. And again, from here, there's different tracks and different things you can set. I usually select no track. I just like to fly around. And then there's one last thing you can do here. Um, as you can see, you can switch through all the different drones that you can choose. And uh, of course, you want to select the DJI drone. And then we'll click on it. Now, one thing you may want to do if you're going to be flying in manual mode with the DJI FPV drone, and that is loosen the throttle. By default, it's centered with a spring, but you can pull back this flap here and loosen it. That way you can uh, set the throttle manually yourself. I don't fly a lot manual when I'm flying the FPV drone, so... For myself, I just leave it centered like that, and you're still able to fly just fine. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do here is start a screen recording, and to do that, we're going to press Windows and G. That's going to bring up the tools. Let's go ahead and we'll start recording here. The other interesting thing here you can see is that they've got the telemetry just like it is in the goggles. So you can see there it shows us we're in manual mode. It's got our speed, our height, our distance. It's got the RC strength and everything over there, the satellites. So it's basically what you see when you're looking in the goggles. Now, if you don't have the spring loosened in order to take off, you will have to pull it down and hold it. And then once you let go, you can see there the drone is going to take off. And then you can just go ahead and fly around. I'm playing at a weird angle right here just so I can record the screen, but uh, that's okay. It's enough to kind of get a feel for it. Whoa. So now that we're heading into summer, I haven't really flown my DJI FPV drone very much, so I just kind of want to get uh, practiced up a little bit before I put it up in the air. So it's a good little simulator to do that on. And as you can see, I'm a little rusty, but uh, that's okay. We'll get better. And it's also a good way to practice your rolls and stuff because obviously with this you're not going to damage anything. So you can go up nice and high and then uh, practice some of your rolls. Especially if you want to practice some of those really slow rolls. It's a good way to learn without crashing your drone. Just kind of gives you a feel of what to expect when you go into manual for the first time. And practice your dives try not to crash and 
as you can see there I do have it set to God mode that means if we hit uh, trees the propellers aren't going to get all chewed up but uh, you can change that in the settings so yeah it's kind of fun good way to get uh, some practice kind of build up that muscle memory and uh, practice your fine movements because that tends to be the most common thing when you're flying a FPV drone for the first time is that uh, you're moving the sticks too much and you just have to like tree there. In real life that would have been definitely a crash and so would that have been. <laughs> but that's the nice thing about sims is that uh, it does allow you to practice and not put your drone at risk. So yeah lots of fun. And a good way to get all uh, polished up, ready for the summer flying season. So yeah, there we go, just crashed. Good time to end this video. So definitely a lot of fun, especially if you do plan on picking up the DJI FPV drone. It's a great way to get familiarized with manual mode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.